So I have a save file that's like right before the first mission. So we can kind of bypass all the initial plot stuff. Mm. But don't you like tutorial missions? No. It's a, it's a good way, to, like op a good opening, but if you want to replay it, you just want to get it over with. I you can't... don't like having to follow around the scientists without any movement control? Yeah, I also uh, I like how it's not a skippable cutscene. That's nice. Yeah. It's but great, you... though. You can just, you know, stare at her Welcome butt back, and you keep going. It's Didn't great. Didn't we see you around here for a while yet? You know how it goes, Malik. Mm -hmm. Duty calls. Don't I know it. Yeah, I this was game has some uh, DirectX 11 features, when I got the uh, but you. then uh, I don't use them Six because if I turn them on, there's the almost dead. horrible screen sure tearing. Ready for this? Hmm. That's a new feature. It's one of the features. What's wrong? Roger that. Yeah, your, your eyesight's augmented. It's just in, you know, getting immersed team. into it. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. I've seen uh, comparison screenshots of the tessellation, the and it's like hardly even there. Does anyone else think the then helicopter pilot kind of looks like one of the Jonas Brothers? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, um... I don't know. Well, I, I, I never really watched the Dirk Jonas Brothers for one thing, so... I, I saw them in a magazine once, and it just well, you, you, you just instantly uh, thought of the pilot. <laughs> Malik. Yeah. Yeah, this I was like, huh... Okay. Right, this, this part's gonna suck because we have to listen to Sarah talk for a while. Are you reading, like, Disney... Teen Girl magazine. I said saw it out of the magazine. I didn't say read read the magazine. Sarah was a bit of a jerk overall. Yeah, especially if you figure out what he did to you. Yeah, I <laughs> you saw do, that. If you find the sub quest that explains all that. But I, I just hate him because his voice acting is so terrible. Like he's obviously like a French Canadian guy. Trying to talk in this American accent. Go in. Fine. I Why never noticed, but gone. now that you pointed that out. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro human purists, or so they say. Oh, so did... The same purists who've been firebombing oh, limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? Yeah, no, I if don't you really, think it's really listen, like all his, in, all his today, intonations are really Canadian. For but he's talking factory. like an American. Megan's team was testing it the day that So, are you saying you did all the voice acting for Seraph? Adam. Didn't care for it. Nope. I know oh. you and Megan Same problem with uh, Eliza. Who is on point for these guys? Um, oh, Goes the news by the name woman. of Sanders. Yep, think. That's him there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Have you ever used the typhoon? No, I haven't. Oh. Alright, so this is basically the choice of which weapon you start out with. Yeah, they... Uh, if you go with non-lethal, you can get either the tranquilizer rifle or the stun gun. Both are great. I'm gonna I'm go not for about lethal. To take any chances. Oh, lethal yeah. it is. But remember, be, be a man. hostages, and I'd hate to see any of our people get caught in the crossfire. What's he wearing? You remember is it like what it's future like in style there? to wear a, a lot of jacket tight and vest? Hallways. With yeah, it's like a paper mache kind of vest. High ceilings. The style so, is like you something you can use from a distance. It's supposed to be Renaissance or something, or but it's like cardboard mm. vest <laughs> style. Mm. Revolver um, or combat rifle. Combat rifle. And yeah, the, they've got the distance. same voice actor who played Bob Pace to return in this game. Just try not to break anything which is neat. expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factoring labs. But Pritchard will tell right, you this more is something I've been wondering in. ever since I first saw the trailers for this game. Terrific. Where do the lenses of his shades go your when eyes they open back? For hostages. Free him if you uh, can. Probably the inside Typhoon a skull. Is your number one yeah. priority. Uh, but what if like, he gets like, punched inside the, the head, agencies. they'll break inside of his don't skull and have broken glasses in his head. Still a yeah, but, but he, he well, like, has like healing augments in his brain that helps him heal faster. So there you go. Okay, I can get stuff. The sunglasses are probably a, a cyberpunk reference on their own. Ever read the book uh, Neuromancer? I'm not good at reading. There's a character in that book, uh, Molly, who has these mirrored shades, but they aren't shades, they're like implanted over her eyes. Um. 
Okay. Now oh, cause some havoc. Okay. Yeah, See, you... now I'm thinking there should be like laser eye surgery where you get transition lenses crafted under your eyes, the eyeballs directly. I think there should be laser eye surgery where you end up with laser eyes. Oh, I like that better. I did hear about a guy who, um, he's blind. He removed his eyeballs and replaced them with cameras. I heard about that. I can't imagine he gets very good image quality. <laughs> I was thinking that, yeah, that's cool, but in the end, he's still blind. Maxwell, don't walk away yet. Go back to the leader of the police and shock him with your little taser. I don't have the little taser. I have the oh. combat rifle. Oh. No, you can just punch him. Blow his brains out. Uh, you sure that's a good idea? Him. Oh, no, because the loading first. times are ridiculous in this game, even if you quick save. Keep going. What if they don't see I, me do it? I didn't really have much trouble with the loading times. Really? So I'm way over here. Where are you? Really? They fixed it, more yeah. or less. Good. I know the console version suffered from it. But... Like, I only played partially into the first mission because I didn't have time to play the game, but yeah. the loading times were ridiculous for me. Like, that was part of the reason why I haven't been playing it so much as I don't have time for the loading. Oh, well, they had recently patched it. I got tried yeah. again, then. They did drop a patch that improves the load times on the PC. Yeah. Kill that man! Yes! Oh my gosh. I need one of the Irish! <laughs> you, yours was my dad, he plays this. Your dad sounds hardcore. <laughs> the first thing he do did when he installed the Typhoon is he accidentally killed the entire street of Shanghai with it. <laughs> oh, now he doesn't and know he where I am. Brilliant. Alright, time to finish your mission. <laughs> Good. Oh, now that poor man. He was killed yeah, by so that door. That door is evil. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, wait. I'm trying to save him, but I can't. I don't... Whatever. No. Yep, uh, I got six bullets out of those two guns. That, that makes sense. Yeah, that works. That's the patch I want to see. The patch that makes it so that you can find bullets for your guns. Where'd that man go? Uh, I think that, yeah, that was one of my dad's complaints when he first played this, that he went for the assault rifle, but he mostly found tranquilizer rounds in the first mission. Here he is. Like, they were kind of expecting you to take the non-lethal route. Yeah, you get a lot more experience for doing non-lethal non, non takedowns. Yeah. And you get no experience points for killing cops because you're not supposed to do that. No. All right, you killed everyone. I think you won. You can call the chopper and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, you defeat the terrorists. <laughs> they were disguised as SWATs. Yep. Come on, fall down the thing. Fall down the thing. There you go. It's like when you throw a rock down a hole to see how deep it is. This is like where I freak out the terrorists by showing them that I mean business. I have an idea. Make a pile <laughs> of bodies down there and jump and land in the bodies so they break your fall. That doesn't doesn't actually work at all. Oh. Damn it! Wait, that implies you tried it before. I just know that I wouldn't. So apparently, this game doesn't have melee weapons. No. What about your fists? No, look, look, look what I'm yeah, doing here. I'm I'm healing the community. By making the terrorists care for the cops. Well, it seems like you're teaching them to pick up their own lesser. And then I kill them. Oh. That's a bit extreme, isn't it? You could have asked him to pick up a dead body and put it in a trash can. <laughs> you know, I, I know you're an ex swat but uh, you, know, you should stick to your moral values. Wow. Got three bullets left. Break on that one. Yep. Oh no, I've got some pistol, pistol bullets. Guess I can kill some people. Oh wait, I found some bullets lying on the ground. Let's use those. How convenient. Do, 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 do. So how do you feel about the cover system? Um, once I start playing it like Metal Gear Solid, I sort of liking it. The door worked just fine. I'm happy for you. The Typhoon is in the factoring labs. 
There's an elevator just past okay. the assembly labs that will take you to it. Now I'll be stealthy. Stealthy. Sox, you have that Gatorade container with you, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the Gatorade! God, it reminds me how easy it was to abuse the um, throwing in the second game. You throw a box at a giant armored guy and he explodes. <laughs> and you, you would have a cloak on the entire time. And the cloak would, like, if you stand still, it would charge itself. That was a great, great idea. The second game was, or the, the first game was a lot of fun to break. Especially if you started messing around with the TNT boxes. Alright, I got some candy bars and some ammo. I'm doing, doing really well. <laughs> there's a lot of boxes and shelves here. That means there's going to be a forklift nearby. There it is. Alright, jack the forklift and go around impaling people on the prongs. No, <laughs> you're, you're thinking of uh, Duke Nukem something else. Forever? Sin did that as well. You could do that in Duke Nukem Forever. That's probably the only redeeming thing about Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, but even then, it was like really boring. That's true. I, I remember that part of the every... game. It was like this large U-shaped hallway and I just wanted it to be over with. And there was only like two enemies you can impale and that's it. Yeah. It explodes. <laughs> that was like useless. Then there was a stupid easter egg you needed the forklift for and it was just a dumb portal reference. Great oh game. really? Oh. I never found that. Why is it? Good. Good. It was a barrel or something. Yeah, it was a barrel with a heart on it. That's relevant yeah. and funny, right guys? Did Duke have guys. a funny line about it? I don't remember. Keep running, what up, dudes? I have cinematic immunity. Back on a candy bar. Nope. Kill this man, too. I think Duke Nukem Forever was done for me as soon as Duke said, I've got balls of fail. Yes. And that's one of the first <laughs> things you can do in the game. With a pinball machine. You just, you just sound so depressed. I love that the only time Duke Nukem ever shows any emotion in the entire game is if you pocket the cue ball in... Oh, nice. Uh, I got some whiskey. Table. Yeah. Didn't they recently patch it so you can hold, like, four weapons this time? Whoa! Yeah. Oh, 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 magazines. <laughs> Did you just smoke up on the cigar weed? What's going on? Oh, I, I found some whiskey. Awesome oh, God. stuff. You can't, even, you can't even see your iPad. <laughs> oh, this is, uh... You can tell you hired the right guy for the job when he's, like, drunk off his mind. I got a grenade there. This is so boring isn't, to do. Isn't this like a science, like a science building? Why did someone have a grenade in their locker? Why does it have bullets in their locker? Like, what's going on well, here? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe these know. terrorists have a point. Why does it's like one future. out of eight people have a thing in their locker? Well, to be fair, they probably all went home. It's pretty yeah. late. Hmm. Some of them left their bullets behind. And their grenades, some of their... I don't know what else is in here. What Cybernetic enhancements they're saving for later. What did Booze do for you in Duke Nukem Forever? Jensen, I just tried to Made you drunk? Door, no, so someone was asking what... Oh what yeah, Duke someone gets drunk off one beer, it's great. Yeah, it's yeah you drink one He's beer, he gets completely it. wasted. He has kidneys of steel. Region, fix it. You'll have to hack the door manually. Richard out. Do you see the video where... Jensen walks up to his apartment and the secretary's like, No, Mr. Jensen, we haven't got you your mirror. And he shoots her in the face with a stun gun, drags her all the way to his apartment, and shoves her in his secret up compartment. Yep, that's a good one. That was a good video. There's also the Adam Jensen gets easily offended set of videos. Nothing's, nothing's gonna beat the... JC 10 ton videos. <laughs> Isn't that also a YCS player called JC 10 ton? And he's just a blown up fat JC. Yeah, he went around being fat. Awesome. It, I, can't, I can't explain it, it's just. The internet's probably like that. Yeah. 
the internet tends to like things similar to itself. Oh! I bet the internet's favorite GTA is San Andreas, because CJ can get really fat. You got it. Mm. Doing really well at getting headshots on the second shot I take. Isn't the pistol the best weapon, though? Yep, it is. <laughs> if you upgrade it with the silencer and the ammo piercing thing, then, uh... And laser. You're that is the only gun. Yeah, the laser is good too, because then you can see if, if it's uh, if your target's in range or not. And I've got this submachine gun, which I haven't used at all, really, in my other play other playthroughs. Oh, so did did the final boss confuse you? As in, what uh, the fuck yeah, just as in it couldn't hurt me because I did all the things to prevent it from hurting me. And I'm then not, I just ran around pushing buttons and trying to figure out what I was, was supposed to do, you know. Yeah, and then story-wise, like, yeah. what was it? Story-wise, <laughs> that was Square so Enix shitty. saying, you know, this game should be just a little bit anime, just so people know that we you made it. The bomb. Well, they had a Final Fantasy 28 poster somewhere. Yeah, I did like <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I didn't think they would actually put fun of themselves like that. I'm a hero. I disabled the bomb. I... See what happened. I'm the best hero. Richard. Uh, if only they should go on one of the computers in game, really and see, in game and see that Final Fantasy 28 got like a 4 on IGN. SWAT will have to export them as soon as I've got the And meanwhile, ba ba was it Party Baby still has like a rating of like 6.5, even in the future. Uh, you scroll down and you see like Party Babies 2 on the PlayStation 4, it's got like a perfect 10 game of the year. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god, what are you doing? I saved all the hostages, I'm a hero. <laughs> one. Missed one. I love how this game just gives you this reason to do. Do you leave the one alive to tell your story? <laughs> ah, stupid thing. Okay. Ah, uh, no, nope, you didn't see that camera. Shut up. No, there's, 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 an, there's an augment to allow you to, you know, um, record. Vlogs to your YouTube for your eye. That'll be a cool augmentation. Like that, that's going to be the future. It'll be camcorder LPs, but the camcorder is embedded in your eye. Like if Wait. you think about it, half of these augments should all be like Facebook related. There shouldn't be all these augments to like make your aim more accurate. It should be, hey, now you can update your um Ooh, your blood glucose the... level to your Facebook. Well, this the social enchant, chancer. So all. <laughs> Where you you can talk to people better. Yeah, I thought the <laughs> game kind of... it basically failed to make sense because all the the main issues have to do with uh, augmentations, whether or not they're good or bad. But I, I found it as they're presented by the game, it's like robot arms. What difference does it make if you have a robot arm or not? You know. It is interesting how they they put up this sort of conflict it makes you sort of think about it and then you realize that you're you're debating about a video game you wrote 10 pages about why you think augments are the scum of the earth and we should burn them all well have you, have you seen the thread in the games forum where they talk about the ending yeah yeah it's, it's uh they have a lot I'm of like... opinions about that ending <laughs> most of it is oh, it's fucking shit <laughs> yeah that was ah. sort of my opinion Access granted. Now, what I felt is that it fell into the Dead Space 2 syndrome where it's a solid game until the last chapter. Plaz is online again. Um. Huh? Plaz is back. Oh, did he go? Yeah, he didn't know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hmm. These guys are already oh, on, on alert for me. I'm sorry, Plaz. See if I can find that vent. That was oh, a sweet roll. I'm dumb. Do you uh. think there were now augmented power rankers? What about? Would they allow it? Because. Oh. Um, power rankers are all me meant for like justice and stuff, but we're in a setting where augments is sort of like. A great if, if you remember VR Troopers, remember that? 
No, yeah, but it, it there was... was there was a pilot for it where the main character was Tommy. the Green Ranger Tommy. Yeah, and he pretty much turned into a robot when he changed. So it's yeah. kind of an augmented Power Ranger right there. Yeah. And then it became VR Troopers, and it was silly because they tried to combine two footage together. It was great. You know, it would, it would just make up every episode a convenient excuse for the heroes to be split up, and it's yeah. just really convenient. And then the and guy they, lost his powers and got a new suit. And they didn't want to screw up the expensive Japanese suits, so whenever they needed to shoot new footage, they would just have them be in the cyber zone, and their costumes would be repainted Power Ranger suits. <laughs> they looked like pajamas, actually. <laughs> they did, and all the helmets were the Red Ranger's T-Rex helmet with paint on it. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the 90s. They were interesting. Good times. And then there was Mask Rider. Oh god, I'd rather not talk about that. This absolute that murder was... run is kind of cathartic for me. It, it, it blew my mind when I saw the Japanese version, which was... was it Kamen Rider Black RX? Yeah, what was, was great is when they decided to adapt into Mask Rider, the big crossover episode where they had all the other Kamen Riders, and... They kind of tried because they had names that were similar to the Japanese guys, except they had the name on the wrong rider. Like, every rider had the wrong name. And I don't know why they even adapted that. It was such... It was hilarious. You're talking about... You're talking about DKs. No, um, there was an episode of Mass Rider where he had the, um... A bunch of oh. old riders come in, and they tried to adapt that for some reason when they made Mass Rider in America. And I don't know why. It didn't make sense. None of the other riders were ever seen before in America. And they screwed up all their names, and it was great. <laughs> I have to find that now. I'm curious. It's what... great. I'll get you a link later. Oh, please. Uh, did, did he even get the rides of the... Was it? He's just a... It's basically just a motorcycle helmet. And that's it. Did they get him as well? I don't remember. Uh, I'd like to see, see him explain that. I think this is the nerdiest conversation. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Might be one of the nerdiest Notice conversations X. I've Here ever heard in my life. Step away from the console. Look, I now. like I like Sentai. Uh, the regular Hunter likes Common Rider. It's a bad mix. Let me tell you about a show. Remember Big Bad Beetle Wars? I do. <laughs> it's it's to was it, is it Tokusaku? Tokusatsu. Yeah, that's it. Big Bad Beetle Wars. I saw Watch Fours. I saw a clip of it, and it's amazing. I think we should talk about Project still there. The, Oh yeah. You know right. what Beetleborgs had? The Power Rangers didn't. It Touch was me, a cool no. talking dog. <laughs> and um, Jay the guy who looked, yes, Jay Leno. Jay Leno. <laughs> Jay Leno was in there. Are those different David. characters or the same character? You got the typhoon. Yeah. Would Jay Leno? There being something more behind yeah, was it a dog that, that was a robot? No, that, that was different. Yes, yeah, so that was... The dog was like a surf bomb implants. dog. Oh, no, don't, no, that dog was in, uh, VR the Troopers. And, and then there was the, the ghost... Wait, Jay Leno was a dog? <laughs> no, we're getting confused here. We're getting really confused here. I'm talking about Beetleborgs. You guys are talking about... Unrelated Japanese. I'm pretty sure the dog was in VR Troopers, but... This is really has nothing to do with Deus Ex. Like, I don't want to piss off Maxwell. <laughs> we should be yeah. talking about games. This I'm was sorry. A, a proper LP, I'll be pissed off. But this is just, uh, I got a game video, so I don't even care. Well, you're already, like, passing out about. I mean, it's not, not as if I'm even playing the game properly. Yeah, right, I'm well, murdering doing everyone that. I see. Japanese Spider Man. Um, oh, man. Classic. <laughs> amazing. And it's actually the reason that superheroes with giant robots, you know, took off. I do want to mention this bucket of gold paint, though. Oh. Because so the, those... the developers kind of included that because they realized they're making everything gold, and they kind of wanted to make a joke about it. Can you trade that for a few hats? No. <laughs> but if you look around, you can find these, you know, buckets of gold paint everywhere. Hmm. For those who are wondering how my dad plays the game, Maxwell's doing a really good... Uh, playthrough of it. Okay, so this, this is what a non-lethal takedown looks like. You hug a man to death, but not yeah, death I, because he's alive oh still. God. I find it funny that you can stab a guy through the chest and somehow everyone's alerted to you. Yeah, like, lethal, they, they le hurt you. the lethal <laughs> takedowns uh, are noisy and you get less experience, and non-lethal takedowns are silent and more experience. So what do you think they want you to do? 
It's also fun how uh, a takedown consumes one bar of energy. And you restore energy by eating candy bars. So you, you can go on a candy bar fueled murder rampage. Or eat all giant jars of mayonnaise. Yeah, those two. You can eat mayonnaise jars? Well, there are different recovery items. One of them is the the small candy bar, another one is the the energy pack, and then there's like the, the tub of energy juice or whatever. Energy juice. Yeah. Which is actually not the good thing to get because it's not space efficient in the inventory. Also, you get a upgrade later on where you can take out two guys at once using one energy. Yeah. Uh, so. That can be w worth it, but usually not. See if I can sneak up on this guy too. This is more like a proper kind of gameplay style. Ah, you noticed me, but maybe there's no alarm. Just gotta hide this body. Ah, they're coming from both directions. I'm a little bit screwed. Time to make more bodies. Yep. They've got my dad in here. He'll probably just be like, This is bullshit! Stop talking! Shoot the guy! Go on! Shoot him! That. Uh, I should have got inside that room. Enemies, <laughs> do, they will not shoot through glass. It's like a kind of a limit of the AI. So this is the point where you can go to all these uh, dust terminals and do the hacking mini game, and then Get read XP. their emails. Yeah. Does it play Mario Party music? Nope. Oh. If you ask me, it actually feels kind of like uh, Metroid Prime. So Metroid That's Prime. Not bad. Well, in Metroid That's Prime, strange. you're always using the scan visor to to get these blocks of text about everything. As long as it's not Metroid on the RAM. Yeah. Will they ever make a, another Metroid off of that? No, because Nintendo, I'm sure, has no idea why no one liked other RAM. Well, they're probably kind of pissed off about it right now because, like, Metroid Prime did really badly in Japan because Japanese people just didn't go for it. And then Metroid Other M got this horrible backlash for being incredibly Japanese. Who knows what they'll do next time? Or it could be like F-Zero where they just decide, eh, screw it. We're not going to make these anymore. Maybe they, maybe they just wait a while. Uh, you can also find books. This book has a scholar bonus where you get experience points for looking at it. Yeah, there's like you get an achievement for like. Oh, so it's like books. the books in Fallout games. Yeah, but if you find all 29 experience granting books, you get an achievement. I tried to get yeah. that and I failed. Don't let him There are some books that are hidden in vents that you can't read until you realize there's another vent to get there. I will if you don't give yeah. me a and a lot of them are hidden in you people's apartments, so you have to like break into everyone. Me. Everyone's oh, no. house in the world. Seraph's attack to read those dog. books. You're here to clean up your Just like Santa. Thing. And I, I, I like the style the moments Shut here. Up. Where you, you try to talk to convince them and stuff. You're gonna have a I, I thought that was pretty people, neat. You're any different. Once they Whereas my dad is an impatient team. old man what? and shot the guy in the head the moment he walked in. Dad knows how to get things done. <laughs> it took him like three, I think there was one quest where it took him three retries to realize that he's not supposed to kill the guy. <laughs> and every time I see him playing the game, it's like he's staring at a dead body. <laughs> every time I see him play, he's like dropping a dead body somewhere or... Okay, and this is I, one I of the, think... this is one of the really interesting things the game has because we're not <laughs> talking on. about that anymore. This is one of the uh, negotiation scenes. I I like them. Can you just pop them? Yeah, we well, can. Uh, now you kind of get a bonus for letting him live. Like was a silver Adam. tongue, you get a thousand Adam, XP. Adam, that's Santa's silly. Dead. Good job popping him. Know about the AUG or yeah, the if you try to do that with a stun gun, the non-lethal weapon. Damn it. Ah, uh, there's a bug where the woman falls down dead every time. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Lame. Kind of annoying. On it. Copy. Jensen out. Yeah, that, you, you just pulled... <laughs> well, my dad did. Just gunned him down. Yeah. If you don't kill him, then you can find him at later the end in prison. And talk to him there. Or if you let him go, he'll just contact you and he'll give you some information. 
I really hope computers of the future don't have UIs like this, because this would suck to work in. I'd rather have computers from Jurassic Park where you have to play a helicopter flight sim to... I would totally install that on my home computer and laptop and phone. <laughs> Jensen just told her that none of the hostages survived, but I intentionally left her husband alive. Jensen's just a jerk. <laughs> Why do you tell her that? <laughs> and then you, and then before that, you hacked into a computer and read her private stuff. Private Look, this is, this is the husband right here. He's, he's just fine. Lady, I was kidding. He's okay. He, he's just, Finish him off. just he's out there. He's fine. You, you don't need to be upset because I only killed those other five people. I just realized, did they not care about all those policemen you killed in the beginning of the mission? Apparently not. Makes me want to no, quick save and do it again. just presume someone else got them. Hmm. My wife. Oh she my gosh. She's fine. I still I'm like that. The, the first thing you it's can do in the game is that you go up to your office and deactivate all the cameras in Sarah Saraf Industries. I think I've given up on her. It's nice You're to know that he hired good. the right guy for security. I'll find some way to repeat this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. So when, if you meet someone who can hack into you know, your entire company's network, then it's probably a good idea to hire them. Okay, and uh... I haven't killed anyone for like a solid minute and a half, so I... <laughs> oh no! Trying to fix this. Line up all their heads. I love uh, just hearing the gunshots hmm. before I see it happen. Oh, this didn't work out too Nah, well. it's not so good. Yep, so this is the load time. It's a little bit excessive. Yeah. It's better than it used to be, though, because they, they patched it and made it better. Yeah. Okay, this, that wasn't that bad. That was okay. Yeah. Do they have any grenades? Any? I've got a revolver somewhere. I don't remember That's picking just, that up. Just have your helicopter pilot um, park on top of them. Oh, this game has inventory Tetris. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you can. You, you, you can even choose okay. it to let it organize for you automatically, or you can do it yourself. So I need, I need to, to use a combination inventory. of the shooting and the melee attack. Someone needs to make inventory Tetris on the iPhone, they'll be a millionaire. There we go. I got five health left. I'm good. I'm glad everyone just stops whoa, the points whoa, whoa, to take down. Whoa. More cops. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. I like how Malik is just like standing there with a helicopter, wondering what you're doing. <laughs> it's not her job to babysit you. <laughs> oh, that wacky Jensen. Uh, if you want to see how tolerant Malik is of gunshots, let me show you. She is very tolerant of gunshots. Aren't you, Malik? Isn't there a moment where if you try to use the social mod on her, she calls you out on it? Yep. Oh. That's Not quite what you signed up for, hilarious. is it, Jensen? Excuse me? Her skin is on your own factory to hide stuff while the boss breaks the cops at bay? Oh, she knew. Don't get me wrong, I love Mr. Seraph. I just hate it when contracts become more important than people. I thought you did, too. Shrug. <laughs> it's not my place to judge, Malik. Okay, then. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. It's not Jock, though. Yeah, the Jock cap is pretty good. Didn't even get a bomb. A bomb. A bomb. 